Hi, we're Glenn and Amber Schwarm. And welcome to The Big Flip and Break. We created The Big Flipping Break because we wanted to help one person take the journey from startup to finish cashing the check and help with that entire process. The Big Flipping Break is about way more than just teaching you how to make money on this one deal. We want to empower you with the knowledge that you need to move forward. We have chosen a couple from our home flipping workshop to mentor, and that is David and Alicia King. We're gonna provide the money to purchase the property and all the money for the renovation of that property for their first big flip. We're gonna to go to the closing table and get that, and then we're gonna split the profit together. What David and Alicia don't know is that we're secretly testing them to see if we want to partner with them long-term and give them their big flip and break. In the previous episode, David and Alicia thought they had a contractor lined up, but that didn't work out. In order to get things moving, David and Alicia took matters into their own hands. They got the house and the yard cleaned up and the roofing and the siding completed, but they still don't have a general contractor. What David and Alicia don't know about this project is that Glenn and Amber are not only helping them make money on this one flip, but they are really testing them to see if they would be good partners that they can fund on a long-term basis, giving them their big flip and break. Okay, so I've, I've called lots and lots and lots of contractors. Um, I'm kind of, we were talking and I'm like, do we just start to, I mean, because now we're days and days in, do we just start to sub out small projects? I'm just wondering, like, how long do we wait? Um, and I'm even... And to he's point, anxious to I'm like, go I, do it himself. I know how to do some of it. Like, let, let me get it in there and, <laughs> like, I'm like... I know you want to, but you'll, you'll, find that it's, you'll find that it's better to sub it out. It might, listen, I hate to say this, it might be a month before somebody starts. I don't like that. Listen, I don't love it either, but it but it is what it is right now because the market is absolutely crazy. So, so just be you know just continue to be really proactive and in, in calling contractors. You know, you know you'll you'll hit one at the right time. So right. just keep calling, keep calling, keep calling, and be really proactive at at, at getting one. All, all right. right, you're doing all the right stuff. Okay, yep. thanks. After a few more weeks without a general contractor, David and Alicia are subcontracting out the interior demolition to keep this project moving as the search continues. In here, we're taking down this paneling. This this is the beam that we need. Okay. Um, this is a cabinet here, so I don't think you, I mean, if you're tearing things down, you're mainly gonna probably be in the kitchen and bathroom. Um, but the ceilings here, we're gonna sheet rock, and then this ceiling needs to be ripped up. Okay. So, um, cabinets gone, and then the counters are coming out 52 inches, so probably about 54, but we need, you know, a new, like this will all be open. Okay. So it'll so be you open want, on you this want side. this to go bye bye. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We can do that. Yep. What's your worst fear about this? <laughs> This house. <laughs> we find a body inside. Oh, it. a <laughs> body, babe, come on. <laughs> well, not that it um, happened, but yeah. I'm a little nervous about them taking down some of the walls, like that half wall and stuff like that. I just, you don't know what I don't, there. yeah, I don't want to uncover problems or have to spend a lot more of our budget, like trying to right. fix things that we don't know about. So right. you run out of money, you're big trouble. <laughs> so the ceiling in the bathroom is also the vinyl, like the kitchen. Okay. So that's gotta get taken down, but the bathroom's pretty much going down with the studs. Okay. So you um, want to pull out the bathroom completely, got it. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yep. And then um, up here, let's see, the ceilings. Yeah, so this ceiling, because of the height of the ceiling, so the ceilings are getting ripped up and then sheet wrapped. So. So pretty much in the bedrooms, you just want the ceilings taken down. Yeah, so upstairs, out. yes. Okay. Downstairs, downstairs, we're just putting the cheap rock, right, yeah. Right. Yep. Quarter inch shirt and that okay. one. Yeah. So Take okay. care of it, I don't know. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean I have um I would like to unless you guys are gonna scrap them, but the cabinets. I don't know if you do any of the scrap metal, but no. um, yeah, so you can just put them in a pile for us and then okay. we'll have somebody pick them up. Okay. So. Um, and then this does come down to half half okay. the wall. Oh, you want a half wall? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I guess we'll get, we'll get to that one. All right, sounds good. A couple things came up with the outside work yeah, um, had to that we were, a you know, a couple it thousand looks, it in the nice. hole. Yeah, I mean, it looks great. So now we're trying to make sure that we stay um, stay, stay on tight budget on budget for sure for here. Answer. But and I mean, we want to make sure that it's done right. Right. And we so make sure they save that beam too. Yes, we got to make sure they save that <laughs> let's beam. Hope they, let's hope that happens. <laughs> You know, things come up and you only have a certain budget to work with. So, right. I mean, worst case, what? We gotta sell it off. So, yeah. Like, well. I mean, if it required, like that would be worst case scenario. Right. Would be that we would have to sell it off. Sell it as a wholesale, like for somebody to buy it for cash. That's not gonna happen. That's not no, gonna no, happen. no, we're working on that. It'll be well, good. That's a, that's a great thing that we have Glenn and Amber to help us through that. So yeah. that likelihood of the, that stuff happening is right. really a lot less. So what David and Alicia don't know is that we are grooming them to be part of something much bigger than just this one deal. And that is this. We're looking to invest not only into properties, but into people. We're gonna build a network of a handful of people that we trust, that we have groomed and built very strong relationships with so we can be their banker, give them the money they need for all their deals. So it's very, very simple for them so they can take away the pressure of having to find money for every deal. Even if they have multiple deals going at once or whatever they need, but also they're gonna have Amber and I as private coaches. So as far as what we've seen so far from them, we like what we see, you know, they- So far, so good. There's definitely been some challenges even getting going, but what they did do was they kept at it. Like every day we were having conversations and they were, you know, talking to new people. They didn't just sit on their hands. They were really proactive, which yeah. I was impressed by. Hey everybody, we hope you're enjoying the show so far. You know, if you followed Amber and I for any length of time, you know that our mission is to help everyday people create wealth through real estate investing because that's who we are and that's what we did. So to that end, we want to get to know you and we would like you to get to know us. So we want to make sure we connect with you on social media and give you as much information as we possibly can and Amber's will tell you how to do that. Yeah, the best way to do that is to go to glennandamber.com and on that website, you're going to find links to our upcoming home flipping workshop. You're going to find links to our podcast, The Real Estate of Mind. And there's also links to all of our social media platforms. So whatever platform you use, Please like us, follow us, connect with us, and make sure you comment on any post with questions and, and comments. We personally respond to all of those. Yeah, we love to do that and interact with you guys. So listen, you can also get a copy of our book, The Birth of the Everyday Real Estate Investor on there. There'll be a link to take you over to Amazon and grab that book too. Remember, we our mission is helping everyday people create wealth through real estate investing, just like we did with David and Alicia. So with that, let's get you back to the show. It's a little nerve wracking. The house is down at the studs. Yes. So being our nope. first main like large project. This is going well. Yeah. The interior demolition has been completed and David and Alicia have finally found a general contractor that will get all the building permits required and get to work. Yeah, it's looking yep. good. And the uh, building permit went in the out last night. Okay. So put it in the drop box this morning. They said probably about a week, but um, the only inspections we're gonna need, they said we're not doing anything like crazy. Mm -hmm. They had to tell them like a spigot or whatever. Oh, uh, okay. Just a plumbing, rough plumbing upstairs right. and a rough electrical. Okay. That's it. It's what was been the good. one issue that we just talked about in there? In the one of the bedrooms, there is um, where the piping is going to continue for the bathroom from the downstairs bathroom to the upstairs bathroom. He's gonna have to remove okay. about four feet of the ceiling, okay. um, but that should be fine. Just a couple of pieces she Yeah, it's either gonna be removing I'm the ceiling thinking. or the, the plywood upstairs, right? Right, right. And look at this, see David, I told you, this is so much better. <laughs> I'm like, I can't touch the ceiling, that's yeah. a plus. Oh. Awesome. I'll just do that. Yeah, nice. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Awesome. That we have to yeah, this wall, like, this like, way, yeah. it was like fit an yeah. actual size door. And that piece. But progress is happening, which is really exciting. Yeah. We did have to push back a couple things, just kind of rearranging things so that it'll work with the schedule. Right. So they just Pretty called much. me about the sink base. The sink base is probably two weeks. Okay. That will get the cabinets, but I think that should still be good by me. Yeah, it shouldn't be bad. Yeah. And hopefully they'll come in earlier. Mm -hmm. yeah. These light switches for a thing. Yep. 
put them maybe over here on this wall. Maybe stud this out just a little bit farther. Okay. I think we have to anyway, because I think your fridge because is bigger fridge than this wall. Than yeah. So I think maybe put the light switches next to the fridge. Okay. Um, on that side? We can do it on either side. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking on this side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's nice to have the lights like as you're walking into the room. Right. Too. And our contractor's gonna be doing the landscaping too, so that's that's a yeah, that extra thing that'll be good. So here we have the driveway. Right, so we have the driveway, and then Earl is going to put in a path right here. Yeah. Like Walkway, straight, right? like an L, and an then L. the door. So okay. from here over, we're thinking the next bed. Right, so this, this get these bushes we can repurpose up. and move into the bed itself. Gotcha. Right here. And then turn. And then turn yeah. into here. Gotcha. Um, so these clean up. Just trim up, yeah. Trim up these ones. This I do want to take I, up a lot, like probably that's, that's a nice four, four or five feet at least. Right? How much? How much do you think? I don't know, but definitely it needs to get <laughs> brought back. Right. Um, and right. I know it also lower, the house. lower a few feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think we're still we're on the right time schedule. And we're still okay. checking in with Glenn and Amber each time. Yep. To, you know, make sure that we're still on schedule, still good. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's good. Um, making sure we got the the money to pay the people we need to pay. <laughs> that's that's a big, a that's big, a big plus. plus. <laughs> All right, cool, awesome. Well, looks good. Keep yep. it up, guys. Sounds good. Thank and you we'll for talking to you. See Definitely. you tomorrow, you maybe. You yeah, too. you too. Part of the game is you have to be able to manage the ups and the downs of your personal life and the business life at the same exact time. You have to be able to do that to be a successful real estate investor because life goes on. And I gotta tell you, David has gone through some very, very intense personal issues. We've had some crazy kind of stuff. unexpected stuff too. It's, it's funny because, you know, we're like, oh yeah, let's flip the house. And that's been really good. Um, and then, you know, we've had, some things kind of come up that came up quicker than we anticipated with with his sister. Yeah. So um, my sister got a diagnosis of cancer about two years ago, and she's been dealing with that. Um, and the beginning of this year, um, things started taking a turn for worse. He's actually going to be flying out on Tuesday to uh, go be with his sister. So. We've got oh. some not yeah. great news, so. Yeah, sorry. That's crappy. Yeah, so he got a flight out for Tuesday morning. She got told that she had two weeks. Thank God at this point, she is still with us. She's still fighting. We are praying and hoping for a miraculous outcome. Um, so life doesn't stop when you start flipping a house. When he let us know what was going on, we were really, I mean, our hearts poured out for him. And we actually said to ourselves, how are they gonna handle this? Right. I mean, there's a side to us that has a tremendous amount of compassion. The other side says, wait, we have $150,000 in cash into this deal, what's gonna happen? Like, right. can they withstand the, out, the external pressure, which is very serious pressure? Alicia stepped up to the plate and handled everything while I was yeah. gone. He, she didn't put any pressure on him at all. Just kind of left him alone and let him deal with the family issues. And you know, they've got three kids too. Yeah. So she was managing the job and managing her household. So she she really stepped up, which was impressive. So far, so good. Very impressed what I see so far. Yeah. In this episode, we're all watching David and Alicia's life unfold right before our eyes. And you, when you're a new investor, you know, life keeps going. And so you'll have problems that come up on the job site, that's inevitable, and sometimes problems even in your own personal life. I think one of the reasons we've had so much success in training and helping people get started in real estate investing, we help you with the mindset. People underestimate how powerful having a positive mindset and knowing how to overcome challenges can be. And that's one thing that we do. And one thing we do, you're gonna watch us through this entire episode and the rest of, this, of, the, of the series with David and Alicia is helping overcome those mental challenges. Yeah, so if you want to learn more about that, we do cover a lot of mindset at the three-day virtual workshop. So if you wanna learn all of the nuts and bolts, all of the technical aspects and the mindset aspects, come to the Home Flipping Workshop. Get your ticket now at homeflippingworkshop.com. We'll see you there. 
After a few weeks of interior work and adjusting deadlines, David is back home with Alicia. They are getting closer and closer to completing this flip. Glenn and Amber, looking for long-term business partners, want to raise the stakes on David and Alicia and see who they really are. Since we haven't had any major problems on this job, we're gonna create one. We have to test them to see how they handle real pressure. So my cousin who used to go to my jobs, uh, he used to go to our, our houses in the Just early to days. mess with our contractors. He'd walk in and say, hey, I'm a building inspector. They all get nervous and didn't know who he was. So I said, I called him and said, hey, Mike, how about you become really an inspector for us? What's going on? All right, Mr. Encon officer. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> He is going to pose as somebody from the New York State Conservation Department. We made a three-ring binder that, said, that looks like it looks like it's something from New York State. It looks very official, and I got maps on the inside. I'll show you when I bring it over, but it'll be very simple for you. In that area, it's been widely known that buried oil tanks used to be in those properties. The area of town is called Cold Brook because all of those properties were built on a bit of an aquifer. Yeah, right? there's no basements in the area, which is unusual for this part of New York. Right, there's a brook <laughs> that runs underground. So if you get oil into that, it's a big deal. That could be bad. You're not gonna give them anything. You say, all I'm gonna do is just, I'm just letting you know that you're gonna receive something from Encom that you're gonna have to take care of what we believe is a buried oil tank on this property. So we're gonna have our cousin go in there today and just let them know that a letter's gonna be coming from Encon to let them know they have to get that tank removed and that it could be upwards of $50,000. If it's leaking. This problem could cause the entire profit of the job to, to go literally away, yeah. disappear. They don't know that he's our cousin and they don't know that this is gonna be happening. I am sure a phone call will come to us directly after we're gonna have to stretch that out. And I'm gonna, we're probably gonna give him a day or two to sit on this and sweat. So I think you got, we got a really stress test to say, listen, how does he handle personal pressure and business pressure? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're not talking about giving somebody a loan of a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars. We really do need to see if they can handle pressure. I'm excited about it, but I'm also a little nervous and scared for him to see how they handle it today. And I hate to put undue pressure oh, on somebody too. that they're not expecting it. But at the too. same token, we have to make sure that our decision to be their banker is a good one too. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to keep our game face on with them because we are building relationship with them built on trust that's important to us and now we're sort of giving them a test behind the scenes but that's what we're doing here we go hey someone uh, just pulled up front they're asking the, if the homeowners are hey how you doing i'm good how are you good i'm david i'm mike with uh I'm Department of Edcon. Department of Edcon, okay. Yeah. Are you uh, David King? Or... That's me, yep. Okay. And I'm looking for, you are the owner of Restoration yep. Home Buyers? Yeah. I'm kind of afraid I got a little, maybe have some bad news for you. Okay, bring it on. In this neighborhood, we've discovered that 85% uh, of the homes have underground oil tanks buried on them. Okay. So what has to happen is we have researched it and found that this is one of the properties with an underground oil tank. Okay. Now that has to be removed. Removed or, or filled? Well, it has to be removed because this is actually, this, old, this is an older part of Rotterdam. Yeah. It's right on top of an old aquifer, so to speak. Okay. It has to be done by a certified company and you're going to be notified of this by mail. Okay. You're going to be getting uh, forwarded some letters through the mail from our department. Okay. Stating, you know, what has to be done, how it has to be done, you know. Sure. And you have to have certified people to do it. Okay. Do you have any documentation for me now? Well, I don't have any documentation. Actually, I'm, I'm just a messenger. Just so you know, okay. um, it could be in excess of $40,000 to okay. have these. Do you have a business card that I can? I, I don't have any. You don't have anything on you. Okay. I have nothing on me. On my way to vacation, uh, I just got out of work. I'm. You know, like I said, I'm just a messenger. Okay. But uh, you'll be notified of all of it through the mail and uh, how you gotta proceed forward with it, you know, as far as having it removed and... Sure, do they have an exact location on where it is or...? Oh, yeah. they have they have it. They did research and they found out that this is one of the properties. Do you have any paperwork there that, that verifies it? I know you're going through a bunch of paperwork there that well, I can see, you know... Well, I mean, it's just, it's just like I said, you're just looking yeah, yeah. for, you're just looking for you, property address. Okay. And that's about it. But so it's a potential buried underground right, oil tank. Right. 
So how do we go from potential to confirm that, yes, definitely we have a buried underground oil tank? They'll have a locator come in. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but- It's okay. Uh, it's always something. Yeah. Do you know roughly how long? Because again, we're trying to get everything finished yeah. within the next couple of weeks yeah, well, and get it on the market. It so should be, it should be within the next couple of weeks. Yep. Is there a person that I can call to get that information like today? Uh, today? I, yeah. I don't know. Like I, I, I don't want to wait on this information and say, okay, down the road, two months, now I get the information or the new homeowner gets the information. Um, so I don't I don't like dragging my feet. My wife definitely doesn't like dragging her feet. So I don't I don't want to deal with that. What I could do is I'll I'll notify the department and I'll tell them if maybe they can send somebody over here with the paperwork that you're gonna need. You know yeah, yeah. I mean? Or do you have my phone number? I can give you my phone number. All right, so the big picture we're looking for from David and Alicia are to see who they are and who they are under pressure. It's not like you just flip one house and know what you're doing. Every house brings its own challenge. No, yeah. And and not only that, you know, even if you flip one house at a time, you're still gonna you're gonna learn a lot and, and go through those challenges. But when you start to scale your business, that's when you start seeing chinks in the armor and things start slipping through the cracks. Well, that might actually suck big time. So Oh, that will suck. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. I'll follow up with them and talk with Glenn and Amber about that. And Alicia's on the phone right now with another potential um, property that we could possibly get, um, one that's not on the market right now. So that's good news, but this news that we just got, that'll truly suck. I'm a big believer that when an orange gets squeezed, orange juice comes out, but when you get squeezed, you come out. Oh, so I just had a talk from a guy from NCON, the environment, our, yeah, environment control, EPA regulation type stuff, um, that this property has a potential buried oil tank on it. And that as new homeowners, we're responsible to get that unburied and removed. And he was saying it's a potential $40,000 project. So, um, talked to him for a little bit, asked him for his information, and he's gonna get me that information. He's going on vacation. I told him, I don't wanna wait on this. Just yeah, get, get, no. me, get, me the, get me the stuff. But tell me, tell me if it's here or not. Where the tank is buried? They have stuff to detect it. Forty thousand dollars. That's that's what we're potentially. That's our profit. That's what we're thinking. Yeah. Um, we'll have okay, to. Fun. We'll have An a, oil tank. I wonder where it is. Things have been going smoothly. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> so, have been going smoothly, and then we just had somebody stop by. Yeah, we just had a so. bomb dropped on us. All right, my cousin Mike just left. He said that. Uh, he gave him the news, and we're kind of waiting to hear from them. I'm going to see if Amber has heard from anything. So let's uh, let's see what's going on up here. Have you heard anything? We just got a text. We have a text. Alicia. What's it say? What time are we zooming? And we need to talk in capital letters. Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> I hate doing this to him, but okay. So we're going to do a Zoom call now with him, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Right? Yeah. Join us on the next episode to see how David and Alicia respond to the Encon prank played on this them. This is not a good problem to have. I mean, we're still excited about all this. Like, oh yeah, let's go. Not, obviously not about a huge hit on cost. Then, Glenn and Amber are in for a surprise of a lifetime. Is it gray water there, you think? Yep. Or is it a buried oil tank? Oh no, no, the buried oil tank is outside somewhere. Oh That's my somewhere goodness. You can see it. That is what we think it is. What is that? It's a buried oil tank. And finally, a contractor relationship goes sideways on Alicia. You, you can actually genuinely play the victim card here because you were the victim. Well, you know, you, you thought there was a permit. And so, you know, don't I wouldn't go in overconfident and... and no, no, I'm not overconfident right now. <laughs> I got screwed. All in the next episode of The Big Flippin' Break. 
Our mission is to help everyday people create wealth through real estate investing because that's who we are and that's what we did. So if you like our style, you like the way that we teach, you like that we're very real and tell you exactly how it is, then go grab our book on amazon.com right now. Listen, we wrote the book, The Birth of the Everyday Real Estate Investor, How Real Estate Not Stops Create Wealth because that's our life. We've built all of our wealth through real estate investing. We know how to do it in any economy, in any market cycle, in any inflationary cycle. If you buy the houses right and you know the exit strategy, you can do it. The book chronicles where we started, tells lots of stories and gives lots of real hardcore advice and tells you exactly what to do to be a successful real estate investor just like Amber and I did. So please go to Amazon right now and grab the birth of the everyday real estate investor because the world has changed and real estate is where it's at. No matter what the economy is doing, real estate is always where it's at. So go grab the book if you love it, if you found it helpful and you learned a lot, give us a good review and we'd love to meet you in the future.